Here's how you can get a lot of star power in My Singing Monsters. Why do you need star power in the first place? You need star power to buy some of these decorations and they look really cool. Also, some of these decorations are secret likes for some of the monsters. Also, when there's a rare or epic monster event, instead of trying to breed the monster and get lucky, you can just buy them with star power. It saves a lot of time. So how do you get star power? There are three ways, but only one viable one. One of the ways is if you get a monster to above level 15, it has a chance to give you a bonus award of some star power. It's only like five, so it's not very good. Also, the Colosseum can give you some, but the Colosseum sucks and I wouldn't waste my time with it. So yeah. Okay, so the only reliable way to get a lot of star power is to feed your tribal island monster. The higher level you and your tribe mates feed your monster determines how much star power you'll get at the end of the week. The higher level being more star power. You can also get gems if you feed them enough. To feed your monster, you should only be using shards. Completely ignore all the other options because they're all horrible. The only currency you should be using to feed your tribal monster is shards. So basically, the more shards you have, the more star power you can get. So this video is basically going to be how to get more shards, because the more shards you have, the more star power you have. So here's how you can maximize the amount of shards you get. One way to get a lot of shards is to make a zinth farm. I have a separate video covering literally everything you'd need to know about making a zinth farm. So yeah, go check that out if you want to. The way you should be getting most of your shards is from Magical Sanctum and Ethereal Island. All monsters on both of these islands give you shards, so if you want to maximize your shard production, then focus on these two islands. Some monsters are a lot better at making shards than other monsters. You would think that it'd be the harder to get monsters that would be better at making shards, but you'd actually be wrong. It's the single element monsters that make you the most on Magical Sanctum and Ethereal Island. So if you want a lot of shards, then stack up on the single elements. For these single elements, you have a few options on Ethereal Island. Basically, just pick one of the five one element monsters. There are no difference, they all make the same, they're all the same size, so just pick one that you think looks the coolest to you. But on Magical Sanctum, there's only really one viable option, and that would be Clacula. Not only because he makes more shards than the other single elements, but he's also only one tile big, so you can stack a ton of them on one island. Once you stack up on a bunch of these single elements, just make sure their happiness is all the way up, and then you can start making bank. Also, if you can't really find a good tribe to join, you can join my Discord, and there are people constantly advertising their tribes in this channel. So if you need to find a tribe or want to advertise your tribe, uh, consider joining. Links in the description. That's basically everything that I know about shard farming and getting the most star power possible. Uh, let me know if I missed anything in the comment section below. Also, make sure to like and subscribe. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.